So I'm going to demonstrate how to turn off your computer and turn it back on using a, a Raspberry Pi. Um, so here, here goes. Alexa, turn off computer. So you notice I wasn't even logged in. Um, that's because I'm using the, the background service for Trigger CMD. Um, and it, it can run in the background even if you're not logged in. Um, Alexa, turn on computer. So now it's booting up, and that'll, that'll take a little bit, so uh, I'll probably cut this chunk of the video. So now let me show you how I did that. Um, so these are the components. So first of all, I, I set my um, Raspberry Pi in my garage to be my default computer, so that I don't have to say, um, turn on computer on garage. Um, so I can just say, turn on computer, like you heard me say. Um, and you can set your default computer in your profile. It's right here, default computer. And you can see it's my garage pie. So again, that lets me just say, um, you know, leave out the, the voice name for my garage computer. But I do, of course, have to say the voice name for my command. So I just say turn on computer and it runs this command. Um, notice I've got parameters turned on um, that allows uh, the um, smart home skill for Google or Alexa to add on or off to your command. Um, and you, I'll show you what my command does now. Um, it runs in the background service on my uh, Raspberry Pi. So there it is. Um, you can make these uh, entries, you know, like this or all on one line, but for uh, ease of reading, I, I made it um, separated on multiple lines. So you can see it runs in the background. Uh, the voice word is computer, as you saw in the GUI. Um, let's see, it runs this command and parameters is on, so it ends up running, you know, uh, computer on off, space on, or space off, depending on what I say on or off. All right, now let's look at the contents of this script here. So you can see if it, if uh, the first parameter is off, then it will it'll run this. Um, I just made a, a log, so it's, it makes it easy to uh, to troubleshoot. You can see I've tried it a couple times. Um, so if it run if it's off, it'll send. Uh, It'll, t it'll tell Trigger CMD to run shutdown now on my DS computer. But if it's uh, anything else, you know, like on, then it'll run wake on LAN with the, uh, the MAC address of my uh, computer's NIC, which I can show you how to see that. Just scroll up. You can find the MAC address right there. Um, <coughs> so physical address it, you know, on Windows it shows you the dashes but you have to I think you have to I, I guess um, I didn't try it with the uh, oh, here. with dashes I, so I use col colons that's the way I've normally seen it um, so that's that's the logic of that command uh, or that script um, and again that script gets run with on or off so yeah, enabled parameters, um, on, off. Okay, so to be clear, this uh, TCMD command, you can download it from, um, there's a, just search for it in the forum and you'll find the download links to the different operating systems. Um, so I've, I've got that and I, I put that in my um, user local bin folder because then it's in my path. I can just type TCMD. You can get the help on it, and uh, oh, I don't even have the latest version. The latest version lets you list your commands. Um, anyway, let's see here. So I also let me show you the shutdown now command on my DS computer. Uh, shutdown now. You can see uh, I didn't even need to uh, parameters. Let's see. Yeah, it just runs this, um, which is 
shut down instead of, if it was slash r it'd be a reboot um and t is the time the number of seconds it's gonna wait till it reboots and i just set it to one second so it does it right you know right away um, and that's you know that's about it uh I, I like this example because it it shows the coordination between you know two computers my raspberry pi and my uh my uh, computer i'm shutting down so one more, one more thing I almost forgot to show you is uh, you have to go into your BIOS to enable um, Wake on LAN. Uh, and not all BIOSes have it, uh, so your mileage may vary. So uh, don't be mad if it doesn't work for you. Um, and I've even seen it where you enable it and it still doesn't work for some reason. So like I said, your mileage may vary. Um, and I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, some computers support it better than others. So uh, in my BIOS, and by the way, to get to the BIOS, I, on my computer at least, I just double, you know, kept tapping the escape key until I got a little menu that gave me the option to pick my BIOS, which is, you know, my, on my menu, it was F10 to pick my BIOS. Um, and then you get a menu system, and for me, it was under power, and I found it under hardware power management. Um, and, and here it is, uh, wake on LAN, enable, right? And in, on my BIOS, I also had another option under uh, power on options in, uh, under advanced. And it said wake on land power on password policy. I had to turn off uh, bypass password because at least the, the wake on land utility I'm using, it's just called wake on land. Uh, it doesn't support sending a password. So I, I had to turn that off. Um, so let's see, that's, that's that. And, you know, I, I mentioned I didn't have the latest TCMD uh, utility on my Raspberry Pi. Uh, here it is. Um, the latest version is, as of right now, is 103, and that allows you to, to uh, you know, list your commands. And I'll just quickly show you that it, it shows you your, it gives you the commands as you would, um, you know, as you would type them. Um, where's the one? Yeah, I'll, I'll grab it. Grab. Um, shut. There it is. So this is the command that would shut down my computer, but I don't really want to run that right now. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, again, like, subscribe. Bye.